Welcome to PLC Blog Channel. Please like, share, and subscribe of our channel. In this video, we know how to use ResLogic's 5000 Timers instruction, so watch till end. Timer and counter instructions play important role in industrial automation. When any process start or stop at particular time, so we use timer. For example, if we have a process in which motor start every 10 second. So timer play a important role making of this type of instruction. Three type of timer in Wislogics 5000. Timer on delay. Timer off delay. Retentive timer on. In Wislogics 5000 you can add timer instructions from language element toolbar. The language element toolbar is a tab toolbar which shows the instruction set available for your language. Select timer slash counter category and your timer and counter be simply dragging to run. Or you can add your instruction directly by right click on run and select add ladder element and browse timer slash counter and add timer to your run. Timer on delay timer start when input bit of timer is set to true and run until to reach preset value. Base of preset value is 1 millisecond. If you want to run your timer for 5 seconds so preset value is 5000. Accumulator value accumulates timer value. When timer preset value is equal or greater than preset value then timer stop running and timer done bits set to true. Now I add a timer to your end instruction which have 10,000 millisecond preset value which is equal to 10 second. Timer on delay timer start when input bit of timer is set to true and run until to reach preset value. Base of preset value is 1 millisecond. If you want to run your timer for 5 seconds so preset value is 5000. Accumulator value accumulates timer value. When timer preset value is equal or greater than preset value then timer stop running and timer done bits set to true. I am adding a new rung and using timer enable bit. The enable bit contains rung condition in when the instruction was last executed. Data type bool. In this rung I am adding a timer done bit of timer. Timer done bit is set when timer accumulator is equal to timer preset value. When timer done bit set to true timer operation completed. In this run I am add move instruction to move timer accumulator value to new tag for another operation. Data type for timer accumulator value is dint so when you move timer accumulator value to new tag always use dint data of your tag. So you see when timer input bit is set to true then timer enable bit set to true and timer accumulator value move to new tag when timer accumulator value is greater than or equal to preset value timer done bit is set and timer operation is complete. Now I am adding a new rung for setting timer preset value. I am using equal comparison block for comparing of timer preset value to zero if timer preset value is zero so new value is moved to timer preset value.
Now I am adding timer off delay. Timer off delay timer start when input bit of timer is set to true to false or wrong condition change true to false and run until to reach preset value. Accumulator value accumulates timer value. When timer preset value is equal or greater than preset value, timer stop running and timer done bit set to false. As you see when input is true timer not start when timer value is set true to false then timer operation start. When timer accumulator reaches to preset value then timer done bit set to false. And timer operation completed. Timer on delay and timer off delay is non-retentive timer. In retentive timer accumulator value is stored while input condition of timer is changed true to false. If again input condition is changed from false to true then timer start from stored accumulator value until preset value is equal to accumulator value and timer done bit set to true. If timer done bit is set in retentive timer and input condition of timer is changed then accumulator value is not increased until you reset timer by using reset instruction. As you see when timer done bit is set to true in retentive timer then timer operation is not start so we use reset instruction to reset retentive timer in Slogix 5000. Simple add reset instruction and define timer name which you want to reset. As you see when timer input bit is changed from false to true retentive timer start operation but when input bit is changed true to false and same condition then accumulator stored recent time value again change in timer input bit then timer start from stored accumulator value until reached to preset value.